Hello guys and welcome to update number three on the Panther D build. Um, like you, as you can see, I have of course picked a camo scheme and uh, painted the vehicle and done some uh, weathering on it. Put on some decals, not all of them yet. Um, I just take off the turret here for a second because the turret still is at a different stage than the rest of the vehicle. Um, I painted the vehicle in the dark yellow color that I had uh, shown you guys in the last video and then I applied some uh, squiggly lines with the olive uh, olive green, olive green um, for a camel purpose. Um, after that I sealed the entire model in gloss and applied a UMP dark dirt wash to the Zimmerated areas here and then took most of it off just to give the Zim a nice shade and weathered look um, I haven't done anything major to the flat surfaces yet I did a pin wash on the the bolts here around the hedges The hedges I will talk to you guys about in a second did a pin wash back here around the engine uh, covers I did a tarp, yay tarp, um, not to cover up anything just because I thought it would add interest because of the scene that I will be depicting. Um, the hatches, I painted them separately to the model. Um, this one will remain in primer color as if they had replaced the hatch in the battle or what, what, whatever reason there is but they replaced it. This one I painted off the, uh, the vehicle as well in the base color. The thing is I apparently put on a too thick layer which turned this into a gooey mess and that's why it's much starker in color so I'll probably go there uh, go in and reprime it or strip the paint reprime it and repaint it with the base color just so it matches the color of the vehicle a bit better um, or I might just use weathering to blend it in. No idea though. Um, after I had done the, and I can still take the hatches off. After I had done the, the, the washes on the Zim, I applied a matte coat to the sides. So they are ready for weathering further once I am back home, I guess. Because I need an oil wash. Um, the turret, on the other hand, like I said, it's in a different stage. Um, it's still glossy because I still haven't put on the markings on the side of the turret because I don't have them handy because the kit did not come with decals for a version in Italy. And as I said earlier, I want this to be an Italy Panther, so I will have to go to my spare decal box and put some on. And that's why it's still glossy. I did the same thing to the sides though, although these are not yet done because first the decal goes on, but the back and the mantlet cover. Um, or the mantlet. Yeah, so um, this is where she's at. The wheels and tracks are still not painted, not primed, nothing happened to them. And this might just be the last time you see me for the next three weeks because now is the uh, most important phase of me writing my final thesis and uh, I will concentrate on that and yeah we'll go strong on this so I will uh, put the modeling on the absolute back burner now it was like running along but now that I will focus solely on the thesis this will go on the back burner and once I'm done with that I'll be back in full full strength I hope and um We'll uh, update you guys on the Panther as well as my other builds. So, this is Hot Modeling. I see you guys in the next video. I always remember the force with you. Bye for now, guys.